Hey guys, this is Mrs. Mallet, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about common multiples and the least common multiple. The I can statement is I can determine common multiples, including the least common multiple, LCM, of two or more numbers. The vocab that you need to know is multiple, least, and common. As a refresher, um, you need to know that a multiple is a number that is the product of a given number and some other number. For example, 12 is a multiple of 4 because 4 times 3 equals 12. So in this video, we're going to find the multiples of 4 and 7. We're also going to find the least common multiple of 4 and 7. So one of the strategies that I use with my students is to write a big M when finding multiples. That's because M helps to remind you that you're finding multiples and not factors. So at the top point of the M, you just write the two numbers that you're working with. And down the sides, you're going to list the multiples. Finding multiples is like skip counting. So down this, this side with the seven, you're going to skip count by sevens. So you have seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, and I'll stop there. By the way, if you notice, this is seven times one, seven times two, seven times three, seven times four, seven times five, and so on. We're gonna do the same thing to this side, except with four. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, and 56. So now that I've listed all these multiples, I want to find any multiples that 4 and 7 have in common. That means any multiples that they have that are alike. What I can do is just go down the list and see if the 4s, the multiples on the 4 side, are the same as the ones listed on the 7. So if I look down here, I haven't spotted any yet that are the same. Oh, spotted one right here. 28 is also a multiple for 7. And 56 is also a multiple for 7. Now, that means that 28 and 56 are common multiples for 4 and 7. However, sometimes you're going to be asked to find the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of four and seven means that you need to find the smallest multiple that four and seven have in common. That means the smallest number, and that would be 28. So as long as you do your work and list out the multiples, you'll be sure to find all of the multiples that the numbers have in common, including the least common multiple. Good luck.